Hello everyone, welcome to Hydropower. Today, in this lecture we will talk about the selection of turbines and their specific speed, turbine setting, so let's start. Hydropower turbines come in numerous designs and sizes. A thorough assessment of the site's characteristics, such as head and flow rate, is the first step in selecting the most efficient hydropower turbines. The energy requirement is also an important aspect in determining the capacity of the turbine. Types of hydropower turbines Pelton turbines. These turbines are perfect for sites with high head or vertical drop of water. They use high velocity jets of water to rotate the turbine. Francis turbines. Francis turbines are ideal for moderate head sites with moderate flow rates. They have both radial and axial flow components, making them versatile. Kaplan turbines. Kaplan turbines are designed for low head sites with high flow rates, like river run of river projects. Their adjustable blades help optimize performance. Bulb turbines. Bulb turbines are compact and used specifically in low head sites, particularly for tidal power applications. They are designed to be submerged in water. Specific speed of hydropower turbines What is specific speed? Specific speed defines a turbine's design and performance and is defined as the speed a similar turbine would operate to develop one unit of power with one unit of head. Low and high specific speeds. Turbines with low specific speed occur in high head and low flow conditions. On the other hand, high specific speed turbines are suited to low head and high flow. Conditions. The appropriate specific speed for a site maximizes energy conversion efficiency. Selecting a turbine with suitable specific speed. Matching a turbine's specific speed with the head and flow conditions of a site is essential to achieving maximum efficiency. The importance of specific speed in hydropower turbine selection. Specific speed plays a critical role in selecting the most suitable hydropower turbine for a site. Selecting the right turbine helps ensure maximum efficiency and energy conversion, which leads to the most cost-effective hydropower generation. Optimizing hydropower turbine performance, setting automation and control systems. Modern hydropower plants use automation and control systems to adjust turbine settings in real time. This allows precise control and optimization of performance despite changes in operating conditions. Turbine setting. The process of adjusting the turbine's components, such as blades, nozzles, or guide vanes, to optimize its performance is called the turbine setting. A properly adjusted turbine ensures high efficiency, exciting power generation, and the longevity of the turbine. Variable operating conditions. Seasonal changes or rainfall can significantly alter operating conditions in hydropower plants. However, turbine settings can be adjusted to accommodate these changes, achieving peak efficiency. Turbine protection. Appropriate turbine settings protect a turbine from excessive flow or sudden changes in head, ensuring its safety and longevity. Efficient energy conversion and cost-effective hydropower generation maximizing efficiency through turbine selection. The most efficient hydropower turbine for a site is selected through a careful assessment of the site's characteristics and energy requirements. It must also be matched with the right specific speed. Optimizing performance through turbine setting. Turbine settings must be regularly adjusted to maximize energy conversion efficiency, adapt to variable conditions, and protect the turbine from potential harm. Automation and control. Automation and control technologies ensure optimum hydropower generation efficiency, precise performance control, and protection. Advantages of hydropower turbines Low operating costs. Unlike other power sources that require energy and fuel to operate, hydropower turbines only require kinetic energy from falling water to produce electricity. Minimal environmental impact. Hydropower plants do not produce air pollution, and their environmental and ecological impacts are significantly lower than those of fossil fuel plants. Long lifespan. Hydropower turbines are designed for longevity, with a service life of up to 50 years or more, depending on maintenance. Hydropower turbines for sustainable energy First hydroelectric power plant. In the late 19th century, the first hydroelectric power plant was commissioned in the United States. Hydropower today. Hydropower has grown to be one of the most reliable and versatile sources of sustainable energy, providing base load generation and grid stability. Future innovations. Hydropower turbines will continue to play a vital role in sustainable energy generation. Future innovations will include the use of fish-friendly turbines and faster construction technology. So this much for today.
we will come again with new video, till then keep on watching our videos. Thank you.